Jerry Redmond served three years in the Marine Corps during the Vietnam War. But he says the hardest battle he fought was during the four years he spent without a place to live, homeless in his hometown of Minneapolis. I don't want him to remember what it was like in the past. Not long ago, Jerry Redmond was just one of as many as 700 veterans who sleep on the streets of Minnesota each night. All without a home, many without hope. Well, let's just say that you learn what hotels you can get into with the closest bathroom to the door so you can go in and get squared away and, and then just go out. It's a daily effort to find their next meal or where they're gonna sleep that night, um, where to clean up. So those are the things that if, if you don't have the, that, then you can't work on anything else. But now, using these abandoned buildings, VA is offering new hope to Minnesota's homeless veterans. Twelve miles from downtown Minneapolis sits Minnesota's most historic fort. Founded in the early 1800s, Fort Snelling was the center of the state's military presence for more than a century. Even today, its legacy has not been lost. You'd be hard-pressed to find a school child in Minnesota who hasn't been to the historic fort and who hasn't seen these buildings, or anyone for that matter who's been to the airport and driven past the site and looked and seen those buildings and wondered what is going on there, why isn't something happening. I've wondered it myself for years. So did the VA, which saw in these buildings both the past and the promise. When I came into this job you know, three years ago and I looked at it, everything is in such good shape. You know, the wood is solid, the beams they've held for over 100 years. That made Fort Snelling an ideal location for VA's Building Utilization Review and Repurposing Initiative, otherwise known as BURR. Launched in 1991, its goal is to take underutilized VA property all across the U.S. and repurpose it to help homeless veterans. At Fort Snelling, these houses, once used for quartermasters, will be remodeled into new homes, and these horse stables, which the American Cavalry once used, will soon be apartments marking the first time these buildings have been used since World War II. I've been on a lot of bases, and nowhere that I've been has got history that goes back as far as here. And it's all well documented. To walk around and know that, you know, hey, this is how it looked 100 years ago is really cool. Some water damage, but the ceiling itself is fine. So are the project's plans which call for rehabbing five buildings total into 58 units, ranging from efficiency apartments to three-bedroom homes. These truly will be homes, and because Fort Snelling is close to both the Minneapolis VA Medical Center and to the city's light rail system, the veterans who live there will have easy access to the things they need and hopefully to a new start. Just patience. It'll, when it happens and you get those keys in your hand, it'll all be worth it to have a place of your own. You don't have to worry about sleeping with one eye open or somebody stealing your stuff or, you know, it's just, it's just good. Good that on the site of Minnesota's military past, its military veterans now have a new future.